Ah, hello, my hearties. A very, very good evening to you. Now, I thought I'd just pop up and see what's happening with you. Very, very important, because we're live on one of the world's great broadcast platforms, Facebook Live, the one that everyone's talking about, the one that everyone watches. And, of course, I'm Scotty McClue, the first lord of the Internet and the world's top broadcaster. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. So lovely, of course, to have you with me on an evening like tonight. Now, I thought it was important that we all got together tonight just to see where everybody's coming from and what everybody thinks about this, that, and the next thing. So if you can join me, that's absolutely fantastic. Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Cut yourself shaving, son. No, it's Sarai's son. So there you are. Uh, don't know what to think. I know it's very difficult to know exactly what to think. What to do, of course, is to tell everyone about this broadcast. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And uh, let's just see what's happening. I've got myself another device here so we can do a little bit of sharing as time goes on. And uh, that will be fantastic. There's Nick Lamed. Hey, Scotty. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. Julius is Erica Mayer. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And there's Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Um, this, that, and a joke, says Gordon Riley. Well, I don't know, Gordon. It's very, very interesting. You know, I mean, we are still in. So there we are. The man of the hour, Scotty McClure, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. We always say, absolutely. If I was in there, we'd be sorting it out big style. But then I have uh, a slightly different view from what's going on. Uh, Clyde Bank Blitz anniversary today, Scotty. Yes, we commemorate those who lost their lives in the dreadful Blitz in Clyde Bank all these years ago. Um, getting blown about, Scotty. Help my bob, so smart. It absolutely is very, very wild out there, smart. I have to say. Um, Hurricane, what's it they're calling? It's a Hurricane Gareth. Uh, ah, dinky you do, sir. How are you? says Alistair King. We're absolutely fine, Alistair, and lovely to have you with us, of course. Scotty McClure, okay, the new, says Richard Skinner, dinky do. Uh, a laughing stock with a PM running about trying to hold on to power. Not at all, Gordon Riley. I mean, the fact is we're still in the EU. Now, many, many people see that as a result. So she's done very, very well. Hello, pal. How are you, says Thomas Hamilton. Dinky do. Down the Ayrshire coast says Sma. Oh, Sma, I know exactly what it's like. It's crazy, crazy stuff. Now, let's get as many people joining us tonight as possible. Aye, aye, for Aberdeen, says Richard Skinner. Thank you, do, Richard. Lovely to have you watching for Aberdeen. Uh, Moira Boswell's there. Thank you, do, Moira. How lovely to have you with us, of course. I thought it was important that Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, popped up to see what you're all thinking about what's happening. Scotty for PM, I say, says George Demand Robertson. And a wonderful thank you. God help all those people with wigs in the wind out there. Absolutely wild. Just leave. Deal or no deal, no gene. That would be economic annihilation. That would be the stupidest and silliest thing that we could ask actually do. Uh, evening, Scotty, says Paul Sefton. Hope you're well and your bonnet won't stay on long outside tonight. Absolutely. Uh, shared, says Nick Lamed. Good. Ni hao, says George. Tinky do, George. Ni hao and had hao. Little bit of Mandarin there. It's not blowing a gale down in Bournemouth. It's dry and calm, says Neil O'Gonley in Bournemouth. How fantastic is that? Is it not lovely that we're all together again? Again, after so long. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, we're going to do a bit of sharing just to let everybody know that we are live and that it's working. So I'll just share there. That's fantastic. And uh, that lets everybody know what's going on. Share now and uh, we can do that. It's all over. Pressing Article 50 was a mistake.
It's all going to happen. Scotty loves Brexit evening. I do, Chris Davis. Yes, it's very interesting. How are you doing, Dinky Doo? Says Ben McCann. Did you stay in the valley in Mary Hill? Says Kevin O'Hara. Yes, Scotty, we should just leave with no deal. No, Charles. That would be sheer folly. I don't agree, Scotty. I don't want to be ruled by Brussels. So do you want to become an American then? Because it's either the United States of Europe, as Churchill wanted in 1946, or it's the United States of America. Another referendum's on the cards. What do you think of the Brexit deal failure? Well, we knew it was going to happen. I don't think anybody really wants Brexit now, to be quite honest with you. John Cumming says, Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, John. Hi, Scotty. Oh, it turns out that we remain in the EU. Absolutely, and have another people's vote. General election, maybe? Not sure about that one, Richard. I mean, there's no reason for a general election. She's done an excellent job. Hi, Scotty, says Louise Sullivan. Very fine broadcaster, Louise. Uh, no, it's the United States of Donner. So there you are. Uh, back to the public vote, says Peter Connolly. Well, Peter, not a bad idea. Go back to the country, but this time they need to be informed. When the first one came along, it had the same legal power as an opinion poll, and the government had no requirement to act on it at the time. There's no answer, says Kevin O'Hara. We could remain, Kevin, and then all your problems just disappear. Um, there we are. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much, John Cumming. You can't say that. So what we'll have to do is delete that. Well, there we are. Um, and uh, John Cumming, if you come up with anything like that, we'll have to delete you. Uh, I get your pint of water tonight, Scotty McClue. Funny you should say that, because here we are. Dinky do. <laughs> Mm. How's the fox, Scotty? Uh, Erica, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I haven't seen the fox for a wee while. So I hope he's all right. So there we are. And uh, hello, Scotty. I used to listen to you in the 90s on the radio with my mum on a Friday night. We love you for Brexit. I'm torn, to be honest. Well, of course, we're back on the radio on Friday nights and Saturday and Sunday, as everybody knows. So there we are. What happens if we leave and we go with no deal? The rest will be at the back of us. No, they won't. There's 510 million people in the EU. 17 million on flawed information thought they would like to leave, but a lot of them have changed their tune. I can tell you. There's Margaret Hemphill Sweeney. I hope we remain, says Louise Sullivan. I hope so too, Louise. I think that would be an excellent idea. So there we are. Just doing a little bit of sharing, and uh, I'm going to share and let everybody know, can we do the same? And just let everybody know what is what. That would be fantastic. I've got my sharing thing here so we can see what's happening. There we go. And we'll share there, and we'll share there, and share there, and share there. Lovely. And it will share there. That's lovely. And we'll share there. Wonderful. And uh, just let everybody know what's happening here. Wonderful. And share there. And share there. Wonderful. Uh, just doing quite a bit of sharing. Could you all do the same, guys? And then we can uh, get things moving uh, a bit better. That would be fabulous. Excellent stuff. So there we go. And uh, share there and share there, and share there. Good. Right, that'll do us for starters. And I'll just put a uh, live now. Okay, live now. And people can come and join us. So there we go. Um, and I'll put N-O-W. Excellent stuff. I think this is actually better if we do it this way than um, what we were doing the last time. If you know what I mean, when I was leaning forward and uh, everybody had to get that then. So there we go, live now, and uh, we'll just keep sharing wonderful stuff. Let everybody know what is what. And that's gone in there. Good, excellent. I do hope we remain, yes, absolutely. Lots and lots of that. Uh, what a nice Scotty, lighting, bad weather, lightning and bad weather. 
Um, so there you are. How is it from Stuart and Jackie in Courtbridge? Stuart, thanks very much. Lovely to have you with us in the Courtbridge there. Do you still do the same thing from years ago on the radio show? Yes, Nicola, come and join us. 96.3 on the FM on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Or, of course, you can come and join us on www.nationradio.scot and listen to the station 24-7 anyway. It's a Scottish radio station, and as you know, those big changes happened just a couple of weeks ago, uh, particularly in uh, UK radio and in Scottish radio, and there's going to be a lot of networking and what have you, so it's good that Nation Radio is a local radio station. So there we are. And uh, there's Yusuf. I don't know what he's talking about. Yusuf, we'll have to just uh, delete your comments, son. So there you are. Anybody that puts anything rude up will get deleted, and if they continue to do it, it's just a lifetime ban. You'll be gone. You won't see any more of Scotty McClure. So there you are. Scotty, remind me of when your show's on in the Times. It's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 o'clock sharp, through until midnight on 96.3 in the FM, Louise. There you are. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Brexit will be a disaster for my bus seat business. Gordon Sterling, your bus seat business is going to take off big style. I get that. I feel it in my water. I feel it in my paraffin. Fantastic. Um, it's all driving me nuts, Sir Sal Williams. Don't be driven nuts, Sal. Just uh, chill and uh, watch this space. Stick with Scotty McClure because he knows exactly what's going on. And if it was up to me, I would phone the EU tomorrow and say, just to let you know, we're remaining, but we want one heck of a deal. One heck of a deal. As they stay, stay with your granny. Paul Francis Carroll, one of our finest organists. Lovely to have you with us. Can we have a big share, everybody? A massive share right now. Very, very important. Let's get this number up here. I want to see that touch the 100 mark. And then several thousand people will join us over the course of the week. But uh, let's do it live. Get sharing and sharing and sharing. Very important. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. What radio station are you on on Friday, Scotty? So Lauren Kirkwood, Nation Radio Scotland. Right? Get that into your uh, search engine. Nation Radio Scotland. 96.3. On the FM, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, for two hours. Two hours of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for the nation. So there you go. And of course, you could call in, and they will get the number to you when you're listening in. So there you are. You can call in. It's Scotty McClure's Nightline. So there we are. What radio station are you on these days? Says Evelyn Williamson. Well, I've just said Evelyn, obviously. Nation Radio. There's Charisse saying, hi, Scotty, and Dinky Do. European Union, peace in Europe, let's stay and enjoy the unity of 500 million people. 510 million, Richard Skinner. And um, the benefits that we all enjoy, absolutely. We've been involved in Europe for uh, 73 years uh, this time round. So there you go, wonderful. And it would be madness to come out. Yes, I got soaked, says Charisse. Indeed. Now that uh, the majority of the public who didn't understand the implications of Article 50 have been educated, a new public vote would be a no-brainer, says Peter Connolly. I agree, Peter. I have broke my shoulder, says Gene Wallace. No, Gene, you have broken your shoulder. Uh, Scotty, and I can't get my high dusting done. Never mind your Brexit. Well, the problem with your shoulder is your Brexit. So there you go. There we go. Hi, all the way from Parkhead, says Sal Williams. Dinky do, Sal. Lovely to have you with us and excellent to have everybody joining us here. Me needs to just resign. Says Paul said, no, she does not, Paul. She saved us. She may well be the saviour of this country. I mean, they all said the same about Churchill. And I know there were all these terrible deaths. Uh, you know, my uncle, uh, 1943, the 11th of March, 1943, my uncle was lost. He drowned on board HMS Harvester in the Battle of the Atlantic. She had just um, got a submarine. And uh, she was escorting the convoy 
and uh, she'd rammed the submarine and jammed her uh, her rudder, I think, and uh, the Aconit came along and sank the sub. Uh, Agnes is leaving me on the 31st of March, says Gordon Stirling. But that's only if it's Brexit. She might be staying if we remain. So there you go. I don't know if that's giving you hope or quite the reverse. Uh, so the wonderful stuff. Red card, says she's an absolutely red card. There you are. Uh, Thomas Smith. Can you see them coming? Oh, yes, you can. Dinky Donuts says, it is all right, Scotty. You're looking lovely as ever. Thank you, Rab. You say the nicest things. Scotty, need to ask uh, all your CDs in the background. What's your favourite? I've got hundreds. Also, white label records when I worked for Pete Waterman, a great man. What do you think? A wonderful man, Stuart Campbell. Fantastic stuff. But, I mean, that kind of music, I just have it because of the specialist stuff the Scottish stuff and the jazz and all that sort of thing. Um, such a parcel of rogues in a nation, says Richard Skinner. I want to retire to Mallorca, but I don't know if I'll be able to collect my pension there after Brexit. When I lived there, says Neil Gormley, the pensioners were collecting their pension. Does anybody know what happens after Brexit? I don't think people even know what's happening now. So there we are. Nation Radio on a Friday night's brilliant Scotty McClure. I was telling you about it, says Nicola Ahmed. Absolutely, Nicola. The country made a massive mistake by voting leave. Well, the country, this is one of the myths, Jason. They didn't actually vote leave. 17.4 million. There are nearly 70 million in the country. So the country hasn't voted leave. Just a minority has voted leave. And by rights, the government should not be acting on this at all. So there should none of this should have arisen. But there you are. A degree in hindsight's a marvellous thing, I can tell you. Uh, this breaks it carry on. Not a clue about it. Don't care about it. I missed River City the night because of it, says Rab. Well, you need to care, Rab. It cares about you. The EU puts its hands around you. Evening, Scotty. These high winds are not good for my truck. No, Andy. You be careful if you got a cotton cider. Um, so what is going on there? I love you, Scotty, says Gene Wallace. Well, I love you too, darling. Mwah! There you are. Confirms it. Scrap the whole Brexit start again. Think the people would vote differently now with the true facts. I think they would, Evelyn Williamson. I think you're 100% correct. Guys, can we all share and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. And I am also the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man. There we are. I can't help any of that. Right, I'm just going to share again, and you'd better all do the same. Oh, wonderful stuff. There's so many wonderful groups I can share this with. So there we are, live now. Uh, right, have we shared? Have we shared? I ask you. There we are. There's another one. We'll share with them as well. Wonderful. Right, I think that's all happening. And uh, there's another one. We'll share with that. And there's another one. We'll share with that. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty, the UK pay the same amount of money as 19 countries combined. Time to go. Well, there's 28 countries in the total. So there we are. Do you like country music? I do, Nicola. Uh, but I wondered if you played a country music record backwards, if she would go back home with the kids and give them the car back and stop them gambling and drinking. So there we go. It's just a thought. Uh, can someone bring me up to speed with what's happening with Brexit? Well, the vote was defeated. Right? The Prime Minister's been defeated. No surprises there. And um, they don't really know what to do next. What I would suggest is that somebody phones the EU tomorrow and says, just to say, we're going to remain, and um, but we want a heck of a deal, by the way. Uh, good evening, Scotty. This is Steve Burroughs. Evening, Steve. Scotty, remember the joke about the bank? I've got a new one. I stopped the postman and said, just to let you know, you're first class. 
Your deliveries are first class. A wee sip of water for McClue. Ooh. LMAO. Absolutely LMAO. I think we all are. Hi, Scotty. Thanks for connecting. Great to hear and see you, says Jim O'Brien. No problem, Jim. Can I also suggest that every single one of you goes on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and subscribes. And also, um, if you want to stick a fiver uh, or a pound or some or a tenner or 50 quid into my GoFundMe page, you'll see that on Facebook or go on, just put in Scotty McClue GoFundMe and you can stick a fiver in. It's all legit. You get your card and everything. LMAO, Nicola Matt, and you, my dear, not a problem. Share, 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 share. Come on, let's get sharing. I'm going to share here, by the way, um, and just let everyone know what's what's happening. I've got my tablet. I can actually show you as broadcasting if you would like. Would you like to see that? It's wonderful. Hold on a wee second. And um, what am I doing here? Oh, yes. That's right. I'm not sharing. Good. Um, there I am there, right? Have you got it? Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, evening, Scott. Yes, and Stephen Menzies. Even Stephen. Thank you for uh, even Stephen. Did you like that? Thank you for keeping the uh, network running, the railways. Um, Stephen keeps the railways running for us all. You wait your neighbours with all that chanting, McClure, says Gabrielle. They're upstairs. Shut yourselves up upstairs there. Stop that banging. So there we go. Now then, uh, Ali Bain and Phil Cunningham are the best. Absolutely, Richard Skinner. You will get zero arguments from McClure on that. Why are you so passionate about staying in the EU? Because it's the best thing for the country, Charles. Remember, McClue is apolitical. I have absolutely no agenda whatsoever. I don't gain or lose one way. But we would all lose if we left the common market. Think about if you've got lambs to sell and you're taking them down to the village. Is that as good as taking them to the city where the big market is. Jim Franco might be looking at an independent Scotland EU in the future. Well, I think that could well happen. I had a discussion with a guy tonight who was going, well, oh, I'm British. I said, well, there's no such country as Britain. So, you know, you're obviously Scots or English or Northern Irish or Welsh. Uh, so they are, but that could all change. Looking dapper Scots, eh? Uh, so there we are. Yes, we might be looking at an independent Scotland. Good to hear and see you. Rather than listening, it's an added bonus, says Joanne Williams. I hope you're not too disappointed, Joanne. So there you go. You're just amazing, says Nicola Ahmed. So are you, Nicola. So there you go. It, it works both ways. Looking dapper, Scott, eh? I love politics, says Claire Coyle. Yes, it's wonderful. But as I say, I'm not political. I know. Good to see you uh, watching, Scott, eh? Uh, Joanne, lovely, lovely. The wonderful David Treasurer's watching, an excellent broadcaster and radio manager. Lovely to know you're about, David. Excellent stuff. And dinky do, I say. I hope everything is okay with you. Now, um, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of course, you can get on the telephone to me. Scotty, what's your favourite TV show of all time? Oh, you've got me there. I used to rush home for Cracker Jack on a Friday night. It's Friday night, it's five o'clock, and it's Cracker Jack. Remember that? So that was a that was a bit of a belter. Um, hi, Scott. This is Claire Louise Rennick. Hello, Claire Louise. Lovely to have you with us. Would you like an independent Scotland, Scotty? Well, Jean, as I say, I'm not political, but an independent Scotland uh, economically would do very, very well. And I think we, we pay far too high a levy into Westminster considering that, you know, over the last 60 years we've been asset stripped. So there we are. We're getting a hammering with the wind tonight and uh, overhead line problems, says Stephen Menzies. Yes, absolutely. I believe you've got, is it two, is it 25,000 volts you've got? I was going to say 25,000 volts to drive a train along, Stephen. Is that correct? There's Mahir Peverell watching Dinky Doo. Right, let's get sharing, guys. 
This is ridiculous. We need to share and let everyone know. I want this figure here up and up and up. Come on now. Um, as much as you possibly can. There we go. I'm just going to do a bit more sharing. Uh, who am I sharing to? Oh, excellent. We've just shared and let everyone know. So that will bring some people on. And also I'm going to uh, share to... Uh, uh, now, wait a minute. I'm going to share to the, the Scotty McClue page where there's about another 6,000 of you just waiting, listening to my every word. Fantastic stuff. Thumbs up, says Gene Wallace. Absolutely, Gene. Get Scotty on the box. Jan Williams, I was wondering, what about the new, the new BBC Scotland channel? The Scotty McClue show. That would go well. Yes, uh, 25K, says Jim. 25,000 volts. That's why we really need to warn people not to muck about near the railway lines, for goodness sake. So there we are. Right, I'm going to share it. I've done it. Wonderful. And uh, we'll see if that gets everybody on. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jim. Appreciate it. Can everyone else just share, share, share and share? Uh, thanks for the carnival is over. It brought me to tears. Memory of my late dad. Says Jerry McLaren, ah, Jerry, bless you. I was just thinking about you the other night, and then you phoned the show. Uh, yes, correct, 25,000 volts. That's a tremendous flash and bang when it trips out. Does the fuse go sometimes, Stephen G? A fuse go anything? What's happened here? Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, where can I buy a bonnet like that? It's like the old school, the Peaky Blinders. Hey, <laughs> mind the big bonnets. You need your bonnet. It's very important. Did you do, Scotty? Wonderful stuff. Thank you very much for that. This one I got in Ilkley in Yorkshire. And when I put it on, I took it out the bag. They put it in a bag in the shop. Lovely gentleman's outfitters in the main street in Ilkley. And they put it in a bag and I took it out and put it on uh, at the foot of Ilkley Moor on Ilkley Moor Bat Hat, which just means, of course, on Ilkley Moor without a hat. Ah, Yorkshire like. A uh, dinky do, Scotty. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do to every single one of you. Absolutely fantastic. Now then, um, tell us what you think. Are you happy with the way the Brexit thing's going? Are you enjoying it? Very poor. I thought I'd just pop up tonight. First Lord of the Internet and, of course, the world's top talk show. Tremendous stuff. Lovely to have you all with us and spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue broadcasting live just for you, Dinky Doo. How's the time going? Oh my goodness. It's five past 11. So I'll have to dash off at some point. But uh, can we see just how high we can get this number? See the little box? It's sitting at... Um, I think it's sitting at 18 or something like that at the moment. If we can get that up, I'd like that to touch 100, because that's when we start doing a bit of business. Hi, Scotty. How are you, says Kevin Clifford? Uh, breaks us a farce. Independence all the way. Scotty, sort your tie. What's wrong with my tie? Oh, sorry, it's slipped in a wee bit. I'll bring it out. Does that look better? There you go. Excellent stuff. Is that all right for you? Huge circuit breakers trip. We can reset twice only if it trips again. And I head out with our engineers to examine the affected area. Well, of course, Stephen, you've probably got a direct shot, haven't you? And, uh, you know, we were taught this in physics in school. You never put in a bigger fuse. So there we are. Wonderful. What's your favourite song of all time, Scotty? Oh, Evelyn Williamson. Evelyn or Evelyn? Uh, perfect Scotty, lol, says David McClellan. Thank you, David. Very, very important. Get the tire, I say. Uh, Liam Smith, thank you to my favourite song of all time. How are things in Glockamora? You know, I, I don't know this. Oh, just so wonderful. What about the duet from the Peril Fishers? Oh, wonderful stuff. Uh, Liam Swiss watching, John Rook, fantastic stuff. Right, I need this number to go up, guys. So you need to do some serious sharing and actually type, 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 type and say, are you watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live? He's popped up. So if everyone shares at the one time, 
then that should let people know. I know it's late. A lot of people will be going to bed and say, oh, for goodness sake, I never knew Scotty was on. But if we can get that number up a bit before I dash off, then that would be tremendous. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Michael Yule's watching. Didn't you do, Scotty boy? I've been a fan since the Scott FM days, says Craig Shovelin. Craig Shovelin, get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and put in uh, Scott FM and uh, you'll get a wonderful bit all about the station. I would have said Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour until the advent of Nation Radio. So there you are. Shared, says David McClellan. Excellent. Uh, T T T two T T T T two T T T says Kevin Clifford. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. Very, very important. Fantastic. Now, uh, if you like to uh, give us a wee bit of chat before you all go to bed, there's uh, Aaron Brown on Dinky Do, Aaron. Lovely to have you with us. Happening, boss. Been years since I've heard you, says Chris Kenevy. And where are you, Chris Kenevy? Uh, so there we are. Do let us know, uh, because you can listen on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night for two hours on Nation Radio. Hi, Scotty from Edinburgh, says Steve Payton. Wonderful. Kevin Wiggum, hello. Hello, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo. Uh, there, George O'Donnell, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us as well. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure, of course, coming into his 28th year of the nighttime phone-ins. So they are, well, with some daytime phone-ins as well, all over the United Kingdom. Tremendous stuff to massive audiences. Uh, send the pensioners to the Highlands. This would solve the housing crisis. Grant McNeil, I think that would be harsh. Why not send the pensioners to India and to Africa, where they're going to be warm? And then they're not paying the bills. I'm lost on the interwebs, says George O'Donnell. I bought my first Walkman with a built-in radio because of Scotty. I still have it to this day, says Kevin Clifford. Fantastic, Kevin. That's what we want to see. That's brilliant news. There we go. Can we all share again? Come on. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 and uh, let's keep sharing, I say. Oh, uh, do you find that sometimes uh, when you turn your tablet, it's slow to go back again? I don't know. Very, very interesting. Um, hi, from Edinburgh, says Garnet McGill. Fantastic. Welcome, Garnet. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, live on Facebook. Just for you saying Dinky Doo and welcome. Of course, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to do a bit more sharing because uh, I think this is an excellent idea. I'll share to, uh, who am I sharing to now? Wait till we see as a discussion goes on now. And I can see here. Wait a minute, I can see. I'm sharing to counter. Yes. Scotty McClure shared a live video. Scotty McClure is live now. So if I share that, then it should come up and let me know who I'm sharing to. Hi, Scotty, says Susan Forrest. Hi, Susan. Mwah. Lovely to have you with us down in Lancashire. Fantastic. She's the lassie from Lancashire. Uh, who am I sharing with here? Come on then, let's get sharing and sharing and sharing. I shouldn't be doing this on my Todd. I tell you, it'll come up here that says who you can who you can share it with. Wonderful. Ah, there we are. Excellent stuff. And um, let's send that on. Uh, it should do. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Right. Are we ready all to share? Sharing with me in a group? Uh, it was shared in a group, haven't we? We shared it to the Scotty McClue fan group. Yes, so that's already gone. Share now, and they've got that. And that's excellent. Need to call you this weekend. Last spoke in 1996 on Scott FM, says Peter Connolly. My goodness, doesn't time fly? It does, Peter. It just absolutely flees, especially when you're enjoying yourself. The wonderful Jim Heron is watching. One of the finest artists I've ever seen and ever met. What a superman, great theatre man. You got me my first beer in Scotland, says Matt. <laughs> 
Is that CDs behind you? Is David? Yes, completely worthless to the outside of it. I quite enjoy a lot of special stuff, a lot of old Scottish stuff. And we started Culture Corner on the uh, radio show on a Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night between 10 o'clock sharp and 12 midnight. Uh, Stephen Wilkie, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Uh, join me in a wee refreshment. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Can we all share and get these numbers up? Come on, there should be a way up at 50 or 100. Sitting there stuck at 25. Scotty, do you still wear your little fingerless gloves? Yes, I think I saw them here the other day. I don't know what's happened. I saw one of my fingerless mitts. I thought, aha, excellent stuff. So there you are. So Kevin, I do. It's wonderful. Because I also have... A wee bit of psoriasis in the back of the hand, you know. But uh, it's, uh, it's looking very, very good. Life treats you well. It's looking very, very good. By the way, if you advertise on radio and television, get Scotty McClure to do the voice for you. There you are. And actually sell something. They're wonderful. So there we are. Yes, I do wear the fingerless gloves. Excellent stuff. And can we uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10? Uh, will you show us your collection behind you? Uh, so there is, there is their match. You know, there's a, a few CDs there and, and uh, one or two more as you go along, you know. That sort of idea. Uh, I remember it was Magic FM. You took over the airwaves in Yorkshire. I don't recall the station, Dinky Doo. Let's have the Mega Mix. Martin Bell. Of course you recall the station. Hallam FM Radio in Sheffield. One of the finest radio stations in the country. But radio is changing as of a couple of weeks ago, of course. They're going to start networking stuff. And that will not go down well in Scotland. I can tell you that. So every day will uh, be my greeting to Nation Radio. Uh, wonderful stuff. We don't mind that, though, because I'm on Nation Radio. Fantastic. Right, uh, the numbers are going. Are you all pushing off to your bed now? Getting off to Bobo's and saying cheery bye. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, tomorrow, the 13th, remember the Bairns of Dunblane? Yes, because my father died um, in 1996 uh, today. So there we are, this actual day. So there we go, the 12th. My father died on the 12th. And um, I was so glad that, because uh, he would have been so upset uh, with Dunblane. My father was a lovely, lovely, lovely man. And um, he wasn't particularly well. And um, he just died very suddenly. Just went out like a light bulb the day before Dunblane. And as I say, if he was going then I was relieved that he didn't see what happened to the wee ones in Dunblane. That's incredible. 1996. So what are we talking? 23 years ago today, my father died. And 23 years ago tomorrow, Dunblane happened. Uh, so there were a terrible, terrible thing to happen. And bless these little angels of Dunblane, I say. And bless my dear father, a lovely lovely man. Just very glad to have known him. He was the one that used to say, it's as easy to get it right as get it wrong. And also, you can only wear one suit at a time. <laughs> you know, when you saw people with a lot of money, so I do buy several suits. Well, you can only wear one at a time. <laughs> that was him. That was Big Archie. Wonderful man. Great violinist as well. Great fiddle player. Um, I've probably got a picture of him somewhere, actually. I might just go and get that and let you see him. So there you are. Let you see my father. Um, that would be marvellous. Yes, I might just do that. Would you like that? God rest your father, Scotty. It's a pleasure listening to you tonight and always remembering the angels of Dunblane too. Absolutely, Joseph. Yes, and um, thank you for uh, for coming on and saying that. It's very, very important. So there we go. Um, now, uh, and remember everybody that's passed on to the next room. So there you are, because they're never far away in your heart and your mind and your spirit. And I'm convinced 
your spirit and your soul live on because why would you have all this a lifetime of experience wonderful stuff it was your father in the broadcasting industry as well he was a great entertainer Stephen but he was an engineer like yourself and uh, he could make things but you also have a slight doubt about your own father he, he wouldn't lie under a car he would say let's get this out and get it on the bench get a proper look at it with one of these huge big old angle poise lights with a, a knurled um, nut to adjust them and a bare bulb in it and he would get a good look at everything and then he would say we'll make a piece for it I had a uh, had a mini and he made a piece for it and I said will it last as long as the one we got in the shop he said come on we'll go and make a piece and he said it's brass it'll be in it when the car is scrapped so there we are we took a wee exception to that so wonderful stuff but he was a radio operator and a paratrooper in the Second World War. So he was a radio man, and I built my first radio station when I was nine. I'll see if I can find him for you. Uh, your dad reminds me so much of my dad, Scotty. A wonderful man. I will. Uh, I'm going to go and get you a photo of him, I think. Actually, I'm sure I've got a photo of him somewhere. And uh, I can get that for you and let you see my father. Uh, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Just bear with me. Don't you dash off now. I'm not going terribly far. And uh, I'll see, because I'm sure I've got a photo. And uh, I can let you see what my father looked like. So there we go. So um, here we are now. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. So there we are. He was a great entertainer. Thank you very much for that. Sorry for the now wait to see if I can show you this. There's my father as a young man. Can you see that? It's quite an old photograph. And... Um, that's that's big archie that's in there so there we are and uh, a fine fellow and um oh sorry and this is him uh really quite near the end of his life he, he, was, he was never what you would call an old man so there you are now i don't know if you can see that there he is there uh playing the violin he was a professional violinist as well but a scottish fiddler a great scottish fiddler so there you are so that was him that's, that's Big Archie for you, and we remember him. He died uh, 23 years ago today. Great story. Funnily, my dad's the same. He also used to make parts from a mini clubman. Absolutely, Stephen. They were great. And if they got in a lathe, oh, my goodness. Is that the airborne badge on your tie? Yes, Richard. That is the airborne badge. That was my father's regiment. Well, his regiment was actually the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders, but he was in every theatre of war, dropped into Nijmegen, dropped into Norway. And I can remember we were sitting watching Heroes of Telemark with Kirk Douglas. You know the one when they're on the ferry? And Sir Michael Redgraves in the film as well in Norway. And I thought, I am watching this with a man who was actually there. You know, that's the incredible thing, but he would never have said anything about it. You had to prize it out of him. You look like your dad, says Joanne. Thanks, Joanne. Wow, great photo, and I'm sure great memories. Oh, yes, Richard, very lucky, because you can't choose your parents. You uh, you get them. Lovely to see pictures of your father. A fine-looking man, says Gene. He was Gene, a big, big, handsome man. Um, so I don't know where I came from. Did I learn the violin? No, Rach. But I can tell you almost every fiddle tune. You name me a fiddle tune and I'll hum it for you. Uh, and he was a mod medalist. Uh, he won the mod with James Scott Skinner's The Cradle Song. Ra da da ra di da di di. Ra da 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 di di di. You know the ones like a little lullaby. So I am not a violinist, I have to say. Right, but uh, I can get a tune out of the piano, the pipe organ, the uh, button key melodeon, the piano key accordion. I can get some tunes out of these, but um, I'm very much in awe of professional instrumentalists. Thanks for sharing the photos. Not at all, Stephen. A great privilege, actually, as well, of course. And I had one more of them, but I don't know where it is. There was another one of them. Um, in full uniform in the Second World War. Just a young man from 18 through until uh, 24. 
There you are. They did their bit, these guys. Uh, absolutely incredible. George Clark, dinky do. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. I can't help that. They are tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. We're live on Nation Radio on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday night from 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight. The Ashokan Farewell. Uh, yes, give me the first bit. Uh, Ashokan Farewell. Now, come on, Richard Skinner. I should be able to know that. Uh, very, very moving. Uh, if I could just get the first note, I'd be able to give you the full bit. The Ashokan Farewell. Um, yes, I've got it, yes. Paul Tyler, dinky do. can you give us a Tory Glen accent? Gonna no make me do that, Ferguson. Alistair Ferguson, stop now. Just gonna no. So there we go. Excellent. But uh, I don't know. Tory Glen, it sounds like you would speak very Tory Glen. So there we are. Gordon Prince, stinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. If you've all just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. And uh, Mary Lindsay's watching. Hello, Mary. Lovely to have you with us as well. Thanks, Scotty, and good night, says Alistair Ferguson. Lovely to have you with us, Alistair. And dinky do, I say. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's have another share. Uh, and see what's happening here, because I want to get some more opinions on Brexit before we go, just to see where you're all coming from. It's all very well with the keyboard warriors on Facebook, but it's nice if you pop up and tell me what you're actually thinking of the whole setup. There's James McDonald and Andy McCrory. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you guys. Lovely to have you with us. Can we have sharing and sharing, please? If everybody can share, then uh, it makes it worthwhile me popping up to say hi to all of you. Uh, you know, because obviously you'll just see this as and when it gets sent round. There we are. Andy McCrory, dinky do. But it's wonderful that we've done. We're well into the hundreds of our live shows. Scotty, when are you going to accept my Facebook friends request? It's been pending for weeks. Any more of this, I'm going to befriend. We fat Bob, Kevin Clifford. I've got thousands to get through on there, and you're only allowed so many. I've got about, uh, I think there's about three or 4,000 on this page, and there's about another uh, five, five, 6,000, something like that, on one of the other pages. So there we are. So you've got about maybe 10,000 followers of Scotty McClure on Facebook in total um, at the moment. But the problem is I can't get round everybody, so I just have to apologise. And there's also one or two dodgy people try to befriend you. You have to watch that. I first listened to your show, says Mandy Nash, when I was about 11. You were on Red Rose Gold back in the early 90s. I remember you coming to our house and trying to teach me to play the organ. But I was scared of... But I was scared of trying to see more here. Oh, I've lost that. I lost that, Nandy. Wait till we see. There we go. I'll do that so we'll get back. Um, but I was scared of you, even though you always tried to make me laugh. I've grown up a bit since then, and I've been a Scotty fan ever since. Never, ever, ever be scared of Scotty McClue. I just happened to be a bit up front and a bit straight talking, but nothing to worry about there. I think in Red Rose we used to shout a lot in the radio being on the medium wave. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. But uh, excellent. Yes, I did. I remember teaching you to play the organ. Now, were you out? You were living near, was it Blackpool or Thornton? Do tell me. Mm. And we came for Sunday dinner. Wonderful. Would that be right? And your mum and dad put on a wonderful, wonderful spread, beautifully cooked, and I gobbled up the lot. Woo! Fantastic. So there you are. Am I right? Do tell Mandy. Right, there we are. To your telephones. Just going to have a, a quick comfort break, folks. Stay with me. Oh, it's so warm in the studio tonight. I'll just give myself a wee... Freshen up. There we are. Excellent stuff. Wonderful. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Uh, Martin Bell says, Brexit, I'm thinking. Uh, 
the PM will get voted out and whoever takes over will cast a new public vote to take the deal for what it is or will just stay in. I think we should just stay in anyway, Martin, to be absolutely honest with you. Stop mucking about. Possibly um, gets rigged. No, stuff doesn't get rigged, Martin. It's just you have to kind of go round about it. You see, this should never have taken place. This was a, a, a political stunt within the Conservative Party that went wrong. That's basically what we're dealing with. Near enough, it was Priestle. Yes, what a memory you have. That's right, Mandy. And you were just a wee one. Um, would you be about nine at that time? Was that right? Uh, am I right there? And um, you, were, you were quite a shy wee girl. I remember that. And your mum and dad said, What's wrong? And he said, he shouts at people. He might shout at me. We said, no, he won't shout at you. So there you go. Uh, Richard Skinner, night, night, Scotty. Talk soon. Cheerio. Cheerio, Richard Skinner. John Harrow is watching. Dinky do, John. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic. Have you managed to watch the series about Glasgow Central Station and its staff? Stephen Menzies, I am glued to it. And I was fascinated, of course, because as you know, Willie G in the Carlton, our resident historian on Nation Radio 96.3, Scotty McClure's Nightline on a Friday night between 10 o'clock sharp and midnight. Willie G reminded me about the village of Grahamston. So it was lovely to hear all about Grahamston. And when the central station opened, my grandfather would be two. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Am I right? Was it 1885? There you go. 1880, 1883, was it? The station opened. Do tell. So there you are. Fantastic. But I have been watching it, Stephen, and it is an outstanding series. I like the new BBC Scotland channel. I wish them all the best with it. I would quite like a wee show on it, you know, not that I'm pushing. Uh, so what have we got here? Dinky do says John Harrow. Dinky do to you, John, from me, Scotty McClure. Right, I suppose it's time I pushed off. Been wonderful being with you, and uh, you'll all want to get to your beds now. So I say to you, good night, God bless, Dinky do, and as we say in the very best of circles, ta -ra lads. Do you want to sing the goodbye song? Here we go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wheat, a zane, au revoir, and a cheery o. Did you like that? Scotty, the subject of Grimston. The Grand Arms is allegedly a remnant of it, and the rest is supposedly underneath the station. Wow. I love it. I wonder if it's intact underneath the station. See you soon, pals. This is Thomas Hamilton. We will, Tom. Absolutely. Good night, Scotty, says the lovely Jean Wallace. Good night, Jean. And dinky-doo to every single one of you. Ta-da, lads. Take care of yourselves. Join me Friday night. Night, Scotty. Night, Mary. Uh, dinky-doo and good night, says Rach. And a nice wee song, says Jean. Oh, we look after you, Jean. Ta-da, lovey. Sleep well.